While primitive flatworms like aceals were classified previously with the phylum platyhelminthes as basal bilaterians, branching off the family tree shortly after cnidarians had previously branched off. The reorganization of bilaterian classification resulting from molecular studies now places these aceals, these xenocelomorph flatworms, as the only confirmed basal branch of bilaterians. And so thus their study is important in understanding what ancestral bilaterians were like. These flatworms vary but they have a number of traits which justify their position here. They have primitive uh, traits which are similar to, to cnidarians in that they have a single opening for the digestive system, uh, an opening which serves as both the mouth and the anus. They do not have any excretory structures like nephridia that higher bilaterians will share. They lack a coelom. They do not have segmentation. They do not, not have blood vessels, a heart, or respiratory structures. And for these reasons, they are more primitive than other groups. However, they do have advanced features which justify their classification as bilaterians. They are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic with a distinct mesoderm layer. So unlike cnidarians that have an endomesoderm, uh, a tissue layer which produces both endodermal and mesodermal cells, such as muscle, uh, these uh, flatworms share uh, a separate mesodermal layer with all other bilaterians. They have separate circular and longitudinal muscle layers, allowing them uh, to uh, be more versatile in their movements. There are a few traits in this group which vary, and so therefore, while most members of the group do not possess a brain or no nerve cords, instead possessing only a nerve net like uh, cnidarians, there are concentrations of uh, neural tissue in some and nerve cords. So while it is thought that these evolved separately, that these were not present in the first members of the group, that uh, is a variable condition. Members of this group also vary in the position of the mouth. While many uh, possess a, a mouth that is, occupies the center of their body, in others it is positioned more anteriorly and in others more posteriorly. The genes present in their genome can vary, and so trying to reconstruct the genome of the earliest bilaterians is difficult. And so therefore, these flatworms are important because their basal position in bilaterians give insight into what the first bilaterians uh, may have looked like.